Foot, Texas. A teenager's pickup stops upside down in an Oak Cliff home earlier today. Hello and thank you for being with us at 6 o'clock. I'm Doug Dunbar. And I'm Kaylee O'Kelly. A witness tells CBS 11 this scene followed one that's become all too familiar on that stretch of road. Vehicles going way too fast, flying in and out of traffic. So where it happened, right near 12th in Montreal. Steve Pickett reporting tonight that this crash, we are told, was just a matter of time. Lucky they're alive. Art Vera looked at that flipped pickup truck and knew how lucky Oscar Gonzalez and his buddies were. The truck slammed into the backside of a house. Oscar Gonzalez was driving. 19 year old Daniel Medina drove this car. He walked away injury free, too. And these boys were flying in and out of traffic, oops, racing, three of them. And uh, they tripped that electronic sign at 78 miles an hour right in front of me. Vera says three cars in all driven by teens blasted through the 30 mile per hour speed limit down Oak Cliff's 12th Street in the Sunset Hill neighborhood. He says no question, they were racing. Gonzalez says he was driving fast, but denies racing. He also said he's fortunate to only have scratches. Well, when I got out the truck, there was a, like a wood stuck in, like in my stomach. Well, not stuck, but like, like across. Could have hurt you pretty bad. Huh? Yeah. It's something that has to be dealt with because one of these days they're going to kill somebody. Luis Vela also walked away injury free. That truck smashed into his house. He happened to be on the opposite end when he heard and felt the crash. When I got to the back, they had already gotten out. And if you look at that truck, how'd they get out? There's really no way you can, I don't know how they got out. And they were just standing there, they were in shock. Might as well post a sign here, Highway 35 or I-30, because you can come over here this afternoon and you'll see the same thing. And you can see that's where that truck was. It's been moved now. Mr. Vela's fine. All of the young people involved in these cars are fine. Police don't tell us at this point if anyone will face any charges. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News. All right.